huh, slow. So, it seems like a lot of uh, players play uh, passive decks, with the exception of those who play alchemy. I think that's basically correct. Alright, let's kick that. Bottom navigator? Mm, maybe that. And one ship. Alright, here we go. Are you the Gwent Kruparian? Am I? Why do you say that? Hmm. Maybe we should play one hound. How many rules is he gonna play on? Caretaker. If we actually get current here, then we're gonna need all the rules we can. Uh, well, we have four better, and uh, obviously only three rows. It's all decent. It's either. I think it could be the hound. Because it's gotta be. Uh, just right away, round three. Game. Yep, I'm the Crypt of Gwent. I guess I have just. I have to admit it. Actually, I could be just a uh, Crypt in disguise playing some Gwent. Who knows? You never know. There are no ways to check. Now, nah, we're gonna keep this and pass. Maybe we'll see you in the next open. No, I don't play that many great swords. Who Barb Gazian 2-0? Um But if that doesn't work, we're gonna lose for sure. That's acceptable as well. Alright, here we go. Is coming out. Yeah, he's probably not gonna play on many rows. That's part of the problem. Hopefully, we can grind out his neckers. Creep of Hungary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to build this. Looks so fun and quite good too. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Ooh, that brand. Can we somehow shut down the brand? I don't think so. So, for now, we can just play a Drakkar. That's why I was uh, hesitant to have more than... Uh, Two hounds. Of course, we might have a Karen two at this point, but we don't. Still, he's only playing on one row. But my other hound is completely useless. Or well, he's gonna be completely useless for some time. I mean, it, at least it's not Skelligor Square shit. I suppose it's hardly y unique. Like, nothing is truly unique at this point. It's just a. Uh, what makes sense for Eredin, uh, Vault Hunt. So that's gonna die. Playing another Rider truly does uh, me no good. Moving away the Vran is not the worst idea. If we had another Scorch, if we had our Scorch, now that would be quite good. But we don't. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. At least he's probably gonna have something huge.
I'm not sure long ground against... You're not sure about the long ground against consume? Well, I'm not sure either, but it makes more sense than short round against consume. Ideally, it would be better if he had Karen Tear uh, and a Scorch. I would definitely welcome those options. And also, we don't even have Iris. If we could replay Iris, that, that's some easy 50 points right there. Uh, but... We don't have those. Okay, we can get full value with the Rider now, so we're just gonna play it. Also, we can consider playing the another another hound. It's basically impossible that he has a better counter. We don't have to play it right now, though, because uh, we still have eight more rounds and would do sixteen damage. There's no point playing it right now. We can play it a little bit later. He might not play on the front row anymore. What is that? Well, he's playing on the front row. So I guess time to get out the frost. And try to murder that spider. I don't really want to shut down the brand. He's gonna be my main burn target. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Anyone cares to play some bets? Maybe still Necker Warrior and copy Drakkar. Yeah, that could work. <clears throat> well, we can play the ride during the front. Have more Drakars. That's actually slightly better. It is still a uh, not an amazing play. Would love to play Iris instead. But it's better than just uh, making a ship, but we actually navigating out the ship, so I suppose that helps. Save Ness for last play before work. Drag target into Ran for a huge villain. Only problem with that is that uh, the I'm not sure if it says that the Drowner pulls a unit to the end of the row, so it's not very reliable. Now, the thing is, I don't want that. I don't want him to to have two rans uh, working. So I think I'm just gonna drown. Oh, fucked it up! Oh, why did I fuck it up? Why did I fuck it up? No, mistakes were made. Okay, we go for the plan B. The Ran eats the other Ran. Oh, right click? Oh, never mind that. Mistakes happen. You just gotta go with it. Okay, how many Neckers he has? Two dead. He played. Hmm. 
right click doesn't work if it comes to the drowner. Does it work? Okay, guys, sure. We're just gonna wing it. Extra challenge. It's fine, as long as the brand eats the brand, we're good. We are golden. Um Well I guess I can play a ship. I don't want to shoot the villain, unless, until the very last moment. It might work. <laughs> we'll see. This is a bit unfortunate. We have four silvers. Well, it's gotta be three silvers, but and, and two golds in the deck. We literally played all the uh, bronzes. Okay. We need to slam villain. Don't move it. Does it work? So how many neckers are dead now? It always shows two. A lot of neckers on the board. But he apparently only played... I don't know. He played three Necro Warriors. Orktail? Come on, he's gotta run out of Neckers any... sometime. Yeah, I think we need the Drakkar. So I'm gonna put back some Drakkars. Even burning down one is gonna be pretty damn good. This is intense. Made, made a little bit more intense by that Drowner misplay. Yeah, we're gonna air it on the ship. That's gonna be a lot of points. How many points is that? Plus this. So that's 12 points. Plus the ship. So that's actually extremely powerful. <laughs> Oh, plus the navigator. So it's 13 points, plus the ship, plus Aerodin. Forty one points. He's out of neckers. As dead as a Krisa. Fifty point. What? He has more? 
What the hell? 59 points. Dylan, good value. Okay. Dad. Okay, it's over. Don't need to eat those knackers. Well done. GG. Damn, that villain was pretty good. Anyway, we got Dagon. I guess we're gonna go with that. Not a terribly good opening hand. Actually, I hate it. We have no hounds. I can start with that, but it sucks. Caretaker, villain. 36 points scorch, but not enough. Yeah, drawing into the spy was pretty bad. Okay, let's play the hounds. Come on! No! How did you guys dodge it? I hate these Archispores. So... It is time to get out more Frost. Okay, fine. It's taking some damage. I guess we can go with a ship. Or do I go with like... Free... Frosts? I don't think so. I just go with a uh, ship. Ship is decent for now. It's 12 points as long as you have four Wild Hunt units on the board. And having more than that is not uh, terribly uncommon. Caretaker, villain, uh. So I can play another Drakkar. I think I have to. I know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Also, I kind of want to play Iris if possible. Come on, Adam. No RNG in Gwent. You kidding me? These are the most random things in the game. Zero power. Move to a random road. Deal one damage to a random enemy on turn start. Deal four damage to a random enemy. Like, can you even count how many times random is written here? You can't just, uh... Design cards and just type in random, 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 random. Because that, that is exactly this card. Okay. I think we have to... Play this in the middle. I am sadness. It doesn't do anything just now. But should be good. It does have random on it, more than any other card in the game. Just kidding. Hey, I got it. Maleficent, I got it. It doesn't stop me from making fun of Arcuspore.
Now, against this guy, Scorch is pretty bad. Last time we had the Scorch, it was pretty bad. So, we're gonna use Scorch right now. Although we don't know what kind of version he's running, I'm just gonna assume he's running the version. Uh. Please. Okay. I just realized that we could have got wrecked if the frost hits the Archispore. So that was a 50 50 that he jumps to the correct row and a 50 50 that he dies. And if that happens, we actually are fairly screwed. What is this? Pass. Well, Auton Navigators are fairly dead. He actually has Barbagazis. He plays from hand. That's acceptable. Just don't give me the frost. Fine. So we can get Villain out if we want to. I'm not sure if I want to. Why not carry over? It's irrelevant. Uh, because we plan to pass uh, round two anyway. Same outcome. If you play a Barbie Gazi, like all we achieve is that he can play something that's a six or lower. So he can play a Dao, for example. That's why I didn't do it. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I just established a better. I'm I'm correct to assume that he does not have a way to deal with better, right? He couldn't have played Barbigazi? That's correct. But uh Master Nest is also a more valuable card. doesn't have better clears, right? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. And even if he does, I think... No, no, no. Are we just gonna assume he doesn't? And we're gonna play against him like he doesn't. Because... We need to generate some value. I don't really see a buy in monsters. So... Now, how did that incantation go? Fine. If he's smart, he's gonna fog in the front. <sighs> I don't know how many more uh, Daos he has, but uh by doing this, uh, we can play in the middle row, range row. <clears throat> Actually, putting the rider there is kind of pointless. And if he doesn't have any more Daos, it looks like he does. <laughs> what if he doesn't? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any more Daos. That's, that's really good, because... Uh, that would have been the ideal target, easily. So, do we get out Villain? We don't have to make the decision- Well, we probably should make, the, make that decision right now. We might not have a, too much of a choice. Well, Astral is pretty good. Let's see what he plays. Two that was dead. Two Arcus Pours. 
You seem to have a uh, more bronzes. I think it's it's correct to assume that this could be a Nova deck. Naivety is a fool's blessing. That's actually it's terrible. It killed my Vault Hunt Navigator. Wait, how do we order this thing? If we play. No, it's fine. We, we can play Iris. My board is pathetic. He's not playing his last card, which is probably a Nova, just in case that I can't play anything big. Well, joke on you. Points come to me! See you later, Cyclops! And that's how we do it. GG.